Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how to draw out a woman's beauty. And I understand that talking about this subject will probably get me labeled a simp by some insecure guys, but I don't care. I'm willing to take that risk because this is a fascinating subject and it's something that a lot of guys don't realize they're even able to do. And they also don't realize just how much this makes life way better, especially with your relationships and your interactions with women. Because you don't only need to use this with women that you're attracted to, that you're trying to get out on dates or that you're trying to enter into a relationship with. You can do this with all women, like literally, like all women, even women who are in their 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, it doesn't matter. This concept works for basically every woman out there and it will make your interactions with them a lot better. So how can you draw out a woman's beauty? And the first thing here that you want to do is a tip that I'm borrowing from Zan Perion, which by the way, definitely check him out. He's got some awesome content and he actually wrote my favorite book called The Alabaster Girl. I've read it more times than I've read any other book because I just I absolutely love it. It's like a a love letter to women in a philosophy of beauty all in one and it's just incredible. I even recommend it to any women watching this because you may get a kick out of it. But Zamperion says you want to witness a woman, witness her beauty. And he doesn't just mean like her appearance because a lot of guys probably relate beauty to just solely her appearance. But no, beauty extends beyond that. It includes her personality, the way she moves through the world. It's her entirety as a whole. It's not just her outside features. <laughs> so you want to witness everything about a woman that you believe is beautiful. Everything. So whenever you're interacting with a woman, you can even ask yourself these questions. You can say, what about her do I find beautiful? Or what about her do I like? What do I enjoy? What features or what mannerism she has or how she talks, whatever it may be. Notice things about her that you like, things that maybe speak to you a bit or maybe things that, that you're attracted to. And then be honest and authentic with her and speak to those things. Speak your truth. Basically, tell her what you're thinking. There's a lot of power in being honest and authentic because, heck, Sam Perrion even describes honesty as an aphrodisiac and I actually believe he's right on that because after doing that myself enough, there is power there because I guess in a way, when you're incredibly honest and authentic, you lay all your cards out on the table for a woman to see. And then she's not going to be pulling or she's not going to be holding up all these walls and boundaries because she's going to know what you're doing, basically. And I get that in today's world with all these stupid dating games and whatnot. Some of you may be thinking, why would I want to lay all my cards on the table for her to see? Don't I lose power in doing that? No. In fact, you gain a ton of power from doing that because you're showing her that you're confident enough to be honest and authentic without caring about how that's going to affect the way she interacts with you. You're doing it because you want to, because you want to be an honest and authentic person. That is incredibly powerful. That is incredibly confident. So no, this doesn't make you weak. It only makes you weak if you buy into those stupid dating games and you're playing them still. Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, so when you're honest and authentic, you're laying all your cards on the table, which basically lets the woman know that you're not going to be one of those guys who plays dumb games, who tries to manipulate her and so on and so forth. So it's going to make her trust you more because if you are honest and authentic, you are likely worthy of being trusted, right? But this is something you have to do from a place of being genuine. Never try to fake this. Do not try to manipulate women. It's just don't do it. It's not cool. But when you're coming from that place, now those things that you notice about her that you like, those beautiful aspects of her, you can speak to them. And you'll notice something incredible when you do. She will start lighting up in front of you. She will start becoming even more beautiful as you're speaking to her. That's incredible. That's the power behind this concept behind drawing out a woman's beauty. When you're honest and authentic with her without any judgment, I should add that in there. This is a huge component of this. Don't judge her. If you are being judgmental, she's not going to light up for you because that judging energy just, it suffocates people. Nobody likes being judged. And it also will prevent you from getting to know her 
in her honest and authentic self. Because if you're judging her, she's going to start putting up walls and boundaries. So don't be judgmental here. And I'm not saying to ignore red flags or things about her that you dislike. No, save that for after your interaction with her. You can interact with a woman without any judgment and then after you're done seeing her, you can think, okay, should I actually go on another date with her? Do it then. You don't necessarily need to do it during the date unless she does have really bad aspects about her. And then by all means, save your time and get out of there. But for the most part, if she's a normal woman, doesn't have any red flags, then just don't be judgmental. It'll let her open up and it'll allow you to then be honest and authentic with her and to speak to all her beautiful aspects. And you'll notice her start to blossom in front of you like a flower. <laughs> I know I'm being overly poetic here, but seriously, it's incredible to witness. I guess a great way of thinking about this concept and how it works is You've probably seen some of those videos that went around the internet a while ago where you have a photographer calling someone beautiful before they take their picture. And no matter whether it's a guy or a girl, as soon as they do that, it makes people light up. This is that same concept where if you just notice something genuine about a woman that you like and you speak to it, it makes them open up, it makes them blossom, it makes them light up and become more beautiful in front of you but it has to be genuine i have to keep reiterating that it has to be genuine so you really have to practice the whole non-judgment concept and just being honest and authentic and being able to look for the beauty in her it takes practice i understand that like it definitely does especially for guys who are jaded and have allowed themselves to buy into too much negative crap about women like if you followed the red pill or MGTOW movements too much you, you probably aren't even going to think that anything I'm saying in this video is worth trying, but I don't care. I mean, it's up to you whether or not you want to try this. It, I know for certain it'll make your interactions with women better, and it will even make them treat you better. There's, there's another thing there that a lot of guys don't realize. Like Zen Perrion, the way he's treated by women is very interesting. I highly suggest looking into it because he basically... They treat him differently from the average guy. And when you understand how to basically practice this, it shows why. Because you're being genuine and honest and authentic and raw and vulnerable and real with her. And that's so freaking attractive. You're basically showing her, hey, I'm a human being that's flawed. I understand that. I don't care. I'm showing up and I'm noticing things about you that I like. And I'm immediately speaking to them because... That's just the way I want to go through life because that honesty and authenticity makes for better interactions with other people. That's basically what you're conveying to her when you approach her in such a way. And women will naturally just light up and become even more beautiful in your very presence when you do it. So it's a phenomenal concept to put into practice in your own life. And one last thing I want to leave you with before I end this video is Xan Perion also has this other concept about how every woman has this kind of core or this essence of beauty. And I've come to realize that it's true. And here's the thing, I understand a lot of you are probably thinking every single woman doesn't have access to that because not every woman is beautiful entirely like with their personality and whatnot. Yeah, but here's the thing. Just because all of them have that essence doesn't mean all of them are in tune with it. Just like us guys probably all have a masculine essence at our cores. But certainly we know not all men are in tune with that, especially nowadays, because a lot of guys are t losing touch with their masculinity. Guys are becoming rather weak and yeah, <laughs> that's a topic for another video. I've already covered that before. So just like us guys have that masculine essence that not every guy is in tune with, women have this kind of essence of femininity and beauty even though not all of them are in tune with it either but i'm sure you've noticed the the instances where you've met a woman who was in tune with those aspects of her because they immediately stand out they're more beautiful and magnetic than the average woman and this whole concept of being able to draw out a woman's beauty it basically is you helping a woman become in tune with that essence of beauty and femininity that she has within her. So even if you encounter a woman who isn't fully in tune with it when you first meet her, you can help kind of 
coax that side of her out. That's why this is so powerful. You can, you can elicit it out of any woman you encounter, even if you're not attracted to her, even if you don't want to date her or anything. You can do this with any woman just by being honest and authentic, non-judgmental, being real with her, speaking to those things about her that catch your eye, that you like. Even if, yeah, you, you don't desire anything from her, that's fine. Like, it's fun to do this. I've had amazing interactions with older women that I obviously didn't want to date or anything, but I just noticed things about them that caught my eye and I immediately had to speak to them because it was speaking my truth. And they light up and they love it and they tell you that, like, they wish more guys were the same way. And it's just really interesting. It makes for beautiful interactions with other people. And... It's interesting because I've often wondered if men have a similar equivalent of that essence of beauty. If you notice, I called it an essence of masculinity, but it's not quite the same. I, I don't know. Maybe some of the women can chime in whether or not if men have something like that. I, as, as guys, I don't think we're able to see that in each other because there's just nothing about guys that speaks to me in that same way, that essence of beauty that women have. And even women are capable of seeing this in other women. I mean, I've had great conversations with women about this concept. They notice when another woman is in tune with that essence of beauty or femininity or whatever you want to call it. Other women see it too. So there's something really powerful there. And I think it's in every man's best interest to learn how to coax that side of a woman out. And like I said, repeating myself for the nth time here, it comes from you being honest, authentic, genuine, non-judgmental basically just wanting to share your vulnerability, the real you, with her without caring how she'll react to it or anything. You're not doing it for her, you're doing it for you because that's the way you want to show up in the world. It's powerful. It's something every man should practice. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this video. I truly hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you were open-minded enough to entertain this concept and I hope I explained things well enough for you to understand how to do this with women. Because it, it truly is incredible, but yeah, a lot of men are becoming jaded nowadays, and I've had this conversation with other men who kind of delve too far into red pill and MGTOW communities, and guys just, yeah, <laughs> that's the topic for another video, but there are a lot of men out there who don't realize just how much they're hurting themselves by not wanting to practice these things, because they think doing it would make them a simp. No, it, I mean... <laughs> it's basically just that they're insecure right now and they can't realize that and that's the problem but anyway I don't even want to go into to that old topic because yeah too much to talk about there but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like content like this be sure to subscribe for more like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below <laughs> I mean I'm curious to see what you have to say especially yeah the red pill and MGTOW guys. There's a lot of jaded people out there. It's really sad, especially like I said, because they hurt themselves and don't even realize it. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!